Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Sammy and this is Harley's Dollhouse. I know the summer is almost over, but I am finally getting around to having my summer cows ready for you guys. And the first one is the orange mercow. So I thought it'd be really cute to make the cow dolls as like beachy as possible. So what's more beachier than a mermaid? So I thought it would be, I don't know, I thought it was a cool idea to make a cow doll with a mermaid tail. So let's go ahead and get started. So the doll I chose to use was a Rainbow High Poppy doll, keeping with the theme with the cows with using Rainbow High dolls for the series. So I am going to just use my heat gun as normal and heat up the head so I can pop out the eyes and remove her head from her body. So the plan for these three dolls this time around, um, for their eyes, I'm actually going to reuse the eyes that they come with and I'll show you how I open them up and remove the iris and the paint. And with 100% acetone, let's just go and remove all this factory paint from her face. So for her eyes here, I think I found a good solution to removing, um, the factory sticker and uh, the paint. I had some issues with like just trying to sand it and just try to use acetone and it made the eyes really foggy. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using a alligator clip to pry the black part off the eye, which I feel like I probably could have used a better tool, but this is what I had that was close to me and I, it worked. So what I found out was if you just put the eyes in some alcohol and just let them sit for a few hours, the alcohol completely removes the sticker and well obviously the paint, but uh, the sticker comes cleanly off and you have a nice clear uh, rainbow high eye base. And with the eye bases before putting in the iris, I'm just going to paint the base of the eye with some white acrylic paint. So here are the orange slice looking irises that my husband made for me. And I'm just going to put a little dab of super glue around on the iris part and gently and carefully place it on and press it down until the super glue dries. Uh, be very careful. I accidentally did stick one of the eyes to my fingers and that was quite the pain to remove it off. But here is how they look. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue just for security to put this piece back on to the other part of the eye. I thought it would be a good idea to keep the lashes on so I wouldn't have to put on fake lashes later. But um, as I was putting them back in, I guess from the heat of the head, it started to melt the lashes that were originally on the eye. So I kind of, I didn't want to pry them back out and then reopen them. So I just kind of trimmed the lashes down as short as I could and then added lashes at the end. And here you can see as I heat up the head and try to get the eyes in, it was definitely a little more difficult, but eventually they got in there. Yeah. <laughs> 
And once her eyes are securely in, we could go ahead and put some painter's tape over her eyes and spray her with some MSC and start working on her face. So for summer, I usually think of really bright colors, especially stuff like neon colors. Um, I think they're very summery in my opinion. Uh, so I thought it'd be pretty to give her a neon makeup look. Actually, they're all going to have neon makeup looks, but you'll see later on. So I bought these neon pigments off Amazon. I will say you do have to give them a good few layers. Uh, I think I did about three layers on her just to get them very opaque. Uh, I guess we'll see how they do on the other two since they are more of a darker skin tone. We'll see. Um, but so to start her makeup look, I'm doing a neon yellow on the inner corner and I am adding orange to the outer corners and then pink to the under part of the eye. I didn't want to do just straight orange. Figured we should do more color just to kind of make it a little more interesting. And for her eyebrows, which I kind of wish I would have done this first before I put on her eyeshadow, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to use the orange pastel to kind of sketch out and shape up her eyebrows. And for the ends of the eyebrows, I'm going to add a little bit of this like medium brown shade just to kind of give them a ombre effect. And using this pinky shade, I'm going to blush this all over her um, nose and cheeks and on her lips just to give her a very sun-kissed look. Using white acrylic paint, I am going to make it look like she has an open mouth smile. And using some gouache paint, I thought it would be really cute to give her some freckles. And I am going to lightly just kind of dab them around on her face and use a q-tip to kind of splotch them out a little bit.
and using the same color of gouache paint that I used for her freckles, I am going to paint her on some bottom lashes. And also I'm going to add some tiny hairs in her eyebrows. So after the first layer of gouache paint, I did put painter's tape back on her eyes to um, spray her. I just kind of wanted to look at the eyes while I was painting on the lashes to kind of, I guess, to get a better idea of what I was doing. Um, but now I'm going back in with a second layer of gouache just to make the lashes a little more darker. And then I use some white gouache paint just to add a little bit of highlights. So I couldn't find my mat black acrylic paint but that's okay. Uh, I have this pretty color shift black that has like gold flakes in it and I'm just going to use that to paint on her eyeliner.
So off camera, I did give her more hair in the front because she was kind of had a bald spot. I used hair from another poppy doll since I couldn't find anything of the same color. And I really wanted to give her bangs, so let's start that adventure because I was really terrified to do this. I did cut them a little longer and then just shorten them in the end. And because the nylon doesn't lay down flat after you cut it, so I did put a rubber band over her bangs and gave her a boil wash. And here's how it looks dry. Let's see if it held up. And voila, she's got some bangs. I mean, they're a little long, but let's go ahead and trim them up. And now let's do the outfit. So I cut out this strip of um, gingham orange fabric and I'm going to hem the top and bottom and gather it in the middle to make a little top. And I will also add some lace on the top part of the top. So for the bottoms, I am using a pattern from Motivation Designs and I am using some Uhu glue to um, glue down the hemlines on the top part of the bottoms and on the leg openings. And to hold the hemlines in place, I use some alligator clips until the glue is done drying. And then after that, I will go through and just do a little stitch on the Hemlines. And before I stitch it up, I am going to add this lace trim on the top. And then once that is done, I will fold it right sides together and sew up the back. And then once we sew up the back here, we will add the crotch pieces together and the bikini will be finished. And here's the bikini all done. Well, at least almost. I added some hook and eyes on the back of the top. And in the middle of the top here, I am going to add a little bow and a polymer clay orange slice. So off camera, I did make the tail, um, but I definitely will show it next time how I did it. I was learning the pattern and I did mess up some parts somehow, uh, but I'll do better and it'll be in the next mermaid video.
And with that, the glasses are done and I added some orange slices and flowers to the sides of the glasses. Now let's see the finished doll. And here she is all finished. What do you guys think about my orange cow? Are you guys ready for the lemon and lime ones? Let me know in the comments down below. I feel like she's very unique and I definitely think these are going to be my favorite ones of the series. I really love the bright colors and how everything just kind of came together. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go take her to an actual beach to get photos, so I kind of made do with some beach sand from the craft store and a kiddie pool for her pictures. Let me know what you guys think down below. Also, if you're interested in purchasing her, she will be for sale in my Etsy shop and the link will be down below. And as always, thank you for your love and support from my channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I have the next video up. All right, you guys, stay cool and have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye.